What's up, guys? How are we doing? Welcome to Steam World Heist, a game uh, based off the Steam World. Uh, I think it's just Steam World. <laughs> anyway, that universe. This is a completely separate entity that is uh, easily better than the uh, original for various reasons. It is essentially a 2D XCOM kind of style game with some roguelike. Well, roguelike. I wouldn't say roguelike. Maybe uh, more randomized dungeons. Uh, but let's go ahead and pop open my profile here. We'll go into some mission, maybe a mission or two, and uh, show you what it's all about. But of course, this is your base. You are the captain, and uh, this is your crew. Uh, this is uh, basically everybody you can recruit throughout the game. They all have various different roles in combat, different uh, perks, and uh, weapon choices. And of course, you go here. Here's your buddy Wonky, the uh, pilot of the ship, who also serves as uh, dishing out exposition and fast story on. Your uh, captain and his, her crew and all that jazz. Uh, but you've been essentially going through space and uh, your goal is to liberate uh, the known Steam World universe from the tyranny of the of uh, the, em the evil empire. And then throughout uh, the course of that, you uh, some other stuff happens and I won't give any spoilers uh, because it's a good game uh, with some decent story. And, uh, but yeah, but here is the overworld. This will take you to various different, uh, missions. Of course, you also have different vendors just laying a strew all over the place. Uh, selling everything from cosmetic stuff to weapons to equipment and even items. Of course, you also have your bars here that you can pop into. And it just dishes as a, uh, serves as a place where you can recruit, uh, new crew members, as well as, uh, listen to some pretty actually good music. Surprisingly. Kind of a, a weird mix of jazz and indie. I like it. It's, I dig it. It's even a little big bandy. Of course, you have your vendors uh, like here, where you'll just walk in and you know just pick up stuff. Um, water is your money in this game because obviously you're all steam powered, so you need water to live. Um, uh, is that is that it? Is that everything? I think that's I think that's everything. So let's uh, let's pop into a mission real quick. I uh, will show you like the first. Somewhere around here. Uh, what's a good place? Beat the brute. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this one. This looks like a good place. All right, so we'll go in through here and we'll pick all our stuff. So obviously the different ones you have are you have your pistols, you have your assault rifles, you have your submachine guns, you get your rocket launchers. Um, <laughs> You've got various equipment like your sidearm, which gives you an extra attack. Um, you've got transporting devices. You've got grenades. You've got electrified knuckle. Like just just various different stuff um, that just offers different stuff in combat. Uh, of course, every guy, as I said before, has their own preferences on uh, weapons they use, and uh, you also get to do a little cosmetic kajiggers like so. To just make them look a little bit different in combat. Doesn't really serve any other purpose beyond that. But you can do like uh, give this one a crown and uh, a little military hat there. But bing bang boom, done. But let's go ahead and jump right into it, and we'll uh, just show you what combat looks like. And uh, of course, as most of these quick missions are, if you guys want to see a full playthrough, you just let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll uh, give this game a uh, a look see, just a little look see, and. Uh, from there. <clears throat> All right, so as you might be able to tell right off the bat, it is turn based. You have your moving phase and your shooting phase. And the interesting thing about the shooting phase is you are. There's a ricochet element to it that you have to use uh, to pull off all these awesome shots. <clears throat> And of course, you know, if you choose to sprint, you're going to forego any of your... Uh, just, just just, imagine, if you will, XCOM rules. XCOM rules of movement and engagement. Um, also, throughout all the missions, there'll be these baggies, which contain various items, whether it be money or weapons, um, possibly even equipment for your ship. The interesting thing about uh, Sally over here is she has a skill where once she gets a kill, during a fight, she has, she gets another attack basically. So she is your berserker class who just goes in and fucks shit up. Uh, your captain is a sharpshooter. So 
we're gonna pull off all the cool shots with her. Um, there are two different kinds of pistols she can use. The uh, essentially a, a sniper uh, kind of pistol, and then just a, a regular pistol. And with the sniper pistol, you get kind of like a scoped out view that you can plan your shots more thoroughly. And the basic one, you just the basic one, you can get just you're gonna have to eyeball it. <clears throat> but it's really not that hard to eyeball these shots. Like this one right here. Yep. Boom. Pretty easy. Although interestingly enough, because that was in that wasn't a direct kill, that was an area of effect. She's not going to uh, get her kill shot skill apparently. Now, obviously, this uh, this this particular fight is going a little bit better than uh, than it should because obviously I'm a I'm a wee bit powerful. For this game, for this particular uh, early on in the game, but it's really just a mess method of uh, showing you what the game's all about. So, wow. Also, the AI for the enemies are pretty fucking dumb. I've seen them kill each other from just hitting explosives or shooting a grenade wrong plenty of times. Let's go up here. And uh, let's use an item real quick, cause you know, screw it, just just screw it. Why not? <laughs> because because why the hell not? Why the hell wouldn't I use it? And we'll go up through here. Like that goes that turn. Like that guy over there. Go over here. But it's all pretty. I mean, that's basically it. Um. You don't have to worry about permadeath. Oh shit, I gotta, I gotta have everybody gather here, don't I? Oh, that's a bag of dicks. Where is he right now? Man! Just gonna pick that up. <sighs> oh good, nothing. Excellent. Now we're just waiting on him for nothing. Boink, boink. Might be able to make it time. I think I might be able to make it in time before the alarm goes off. So in most stages there are alarms that will go off, and when the alarms go off, uh, more enemy units will pop in, and sometimes turrets will be activated. Uh, it's not not the worst thing to happen in the world, but uh, it is definitely a pain in the ass. All right, there we go. And now we have to fight the big baddie, who's gonna be just a fucking cakewalk here. Let's go up here. Activate power shot, and oh, cool! I got a nice little ricochet shot. Yeah, you can also, uh, if you shoot the hats off of enemies, you can then go pick up the hats and add them to your collection. So there's kind of a, a nice little side objective is to go for those uh, those grazing shots. You know, I should probably just kill him. Double shot. Yeah, and he's fucking obliterated. And Sally can just go on a murdering spree here. And uh, you know what? what? Let's uh, let's uh. <laughs> Warcry does uh, damage bonus, but you know. With my uh, current weapon, that's uh, that's not gonna be a problem. Anyway, but, hey, but, but who cares? <laughs> it's uh, cold blood. So you know, there's, I think, I I'm gonna buy maybe 10, 10 crew members you can choose from um, to go into missions, and they all have their different abilities. Um, but yeah, plenty of uh, customization um, for just to choosing how you want to go into the missions, and of course certain. Certain people and their skill sets and and whatnot are going to be uh, better for certain missions, but it really is at the end of the day all just up to you. Uh, of course, got to do some item management here. Do I need this spectral shotgun? Of course I don't. Uh, I don't need this either. And uh, that's hot garbo. Ooh, treasure. I probably should have sold that, huh? Oh well. 
And of course, there's leveling. So as you level, they get more skills, health. Um, haven't seen anything beyond that. So health and skills and movement. <clears throat> but that's about it. So that is Steam World Heist, guys. If uh, you liked what you saw and you want to see a full playthrough, you just want to know in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, we'll just go ahead and end it here. But uh, you guys take it easy. Have a good one. And we'll see you again soon.